I mean, back then it was different, you know what I mean? Because, you know, you had the buildings up back then, Cabrini Greens and all that shit. So it was completely different to what it is now. Like, you know what I mean? Back, you know, now they call it the rack. Back then we just called it shy rack. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Shit like that. So it's different. They you see, I'm south side rapping. Yeah. Big foot stepping. Show three section. This guy flow perfection. Yeah. Dating on the church like I ain't blessed. They section. If we ain't talking money, I got a weak connection. That's on the hood. She said, get a bag. So I get it. Got it. Good. Don't complain about my problems, I just put it in a wood Seen a genie the other day, she said, make it good So I wish for good health, then I wish to look If she's not lieutenant, yeah, I'm back, been a minute My hard work gets you offended, shout out my boy, I can damn it Shoot, 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 independent No, you, 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 you scam baby, behind that twinkle in your eye I want to make sure. Yeah, appreciate it All right, you ready? Yes, sir All right, another episode of Minnesota's number one daily show live on Lake Street we got a special guest in the building, ladies and gentlemen, Nightfall. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How you feeling today? Man, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good, man. Feeling you're here. Good. Bless, bless. You're here, man. Yeah, yeah. I think probably. you're one of the, you're probably, well, both sides mm -hmm. is is mentioned often. Yeah. When we ask artists about like their like the best videographers in the, in the oh, state. Oh, yeah. I appreciate that, man. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Yeah. You've been mentioned, you've been mentioned a lot. And that was kind of why, that's part of the reason I think, like, th those are the things that I pay attention to. Right. It's like, okay. You've been mentioned so many times. It's like, man, he's got to get an interview. Like, you got to come up here and speak for yourself at some yeah, point, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, being all, on and off the scene, man. Like, never get no sleep with this shit for real. Yeah. So, uh, some some people might not know that your artist name is Nightfall, mm -hmm. but you are also a videographer right. and production mm -hmm. pr and product. I mean, is both sides does videography and what do you do engineering yeah. and shit like so, that too so the label is both sides of the fence for anybody that don't know that's the entire label so you know basically we do it all you know we we sponsoring artists we trying to get people out there just like how uh you got a universal records but it's we kind of trying to build like that you yeah. know what i mean so my label ain't to i right, y'all running under my label y'all doing this we we really trying to get every artist out there so i really invested in my own camera work my own team of people that's trying to promote my own uh, like i said sponsor teams everybody who's trying to do a whole bunch of different things with their career or their path that's that's when you come to us with it you know what i mean it's cool if you don't want to rock with us but hey like i said take that chance Give us that opportunity to show you what we can do for you. you so know? who are some artists that you're working with? Under, um, that, under, under that my label, I got Polo Smalls. That's my artist. Okay. Uh, his sister, Polo Ellie. And then I got a couple new artists that I ain't going to mention just yet, but they they definitely coming through. You know what I mean? We started as, as a group of like 12 people back in like 2012, but okay. since then it's just been me for the last like five, six years. What's your relationship with Suavo? Suavo, that's my boy. Yeah, okay. Because I know he mentioned you when he came up yeah, here. Yeah, that's my boy. Yeah. And I know that he's... Uh, at least from the outside looking, it looks like he's not representing you know it anymore. I'm, I ain't got nothing to do with the the you know it situation. So I was you curious know. if maybe there was a chance that he could land I, with I, you. Nah, nah, nah. I, I would in my mind, I would I would tell Swabo keep doing what you're doing. He got a voice to be heard, for sure. You know, and he's somebody to be reckoned with out here. You know, what I mean, he definitely got something to talk about. You know, what I mean, Swabo, sure. that's my boy, man. Shout shout out shout out Swabo, man. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so um, you've been an artist longer than you've been well you've been a, a musical artist longer than you've been a visual artist correct yeah when did you start when did you start with music uh probably like when i was like 12 you know what i mean i had a bunch of family running around like hey rap that shit yeah you know i got to rapping a bunch of bullshit i ain't gonna lie it was terrible but you know motherfuckers like yeah i can hear it in your voice you got a good voice for it but you know start reading the dictionary a little bit start writing shit down and i never really wrote a lot back then either i don't really write now either i, I punch in i do a lot of punch in so okay. you know from there and now definitely took off you know what yeah. i'm saying with that shit and this is when you were still in chicago yep yeah okay. from chicago up here you know once i came up here it was kind of different because i ain't under you know minnesota different but you know once i started understanding how to how to move up here all right cool i got to get get to knowing people through school all type of shit up here you know how shit go you know so I mean? being in chicago till you were i mean essentially a teenager what's the biggest difference from chicago being in chicago and being in minnesota I mean, back then it was different, you know what I mean? Because, you know, you had the buildings up back then, Cabrini Greens and all that shit. So it was completely different to what it is now. Like, you know what I mean? Back, you know, now they call it the rack. Back then we just called it shy rack, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Shit like that. So it's different. They summed it up. You know, it's different now. But back then it was just, it was way more structured with it, you know what yeah. I mean? It was People was way more in tune when they had the buildings back then. But, you know, coming to Minnesota, it's, it's kind of like the same, but, you know, it's different, though. It's yeah. different. What's, I mean, what is the biggest difference? the city <laughs> yeah it ain't like you know what i mean it minnesota minnesota is like you gotta make something pop and out there it's already shit going on that gotcha. you can get involved you know yep. what i mean out here it's just you know that's what people are looking for what's popping out here that's yeah. what they're looking for you know yeah. what i mean so 
So we don't really have foundation here. There's nah, something, not there's really. something not, already there. Not with the music, not with the coming together part. Minnesota got a lot of shit to do, but we there, though. Like, we getting there. Yeah. It's just people up here, like, with a lot of the promoters, with a lot of people who doing stuff like this, you know what I mean, these type of platforms, we missing out on the people who actually looking at people like who me, who do a lot of work. We getting unknown, we getting unheard. You know, ain't nobody trying to really pay attention, and we really doing a lot for yeah. the artists that, quote, unquote, do a lot. You know what I mean? Like I said, I've shot videos of people who I know completely broke, but then when they drop the song, everybody think they rich. You know what I'm saying? They drop mm. a video. You feel what I'm saying? So it's stuff like that that people are not really looking at. Like, like, like who? I ain't going to say no names. They know who they are. People know who they is. You can't say no names. You know what I mean? But they know who they are. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, it's just, you know, it is what it is. But I tell people, like, Minnesota just lack the real support when it comes to any artist. Because you got people, like like I said, like me, who will come. I do a show, really turn up, right? Do, like, kill the show. You saw my last performance last time. I turned the fuck up, right? Good. Other people who got the bigger names jumped on there and couldn't do the same thing. So I feel like it ain't just the music you make. It's your performance. It's the... Like it's, I ain't, I ain't going to say the name. We, you, watched the, you watched the performance, so you know. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you was there, so you know. You know what I mean? But I'm I, thought every, I thought everybody had a pretty uh, pr- pretty decent set that actually. See, pretty decent ain't... You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I look at, I'm looking at... I If I'm there and I'm watching you and you turning up, you act like... Well, you, you look like you turned up. Nobody is paying attention to your words. Ain't nobody rapping your music. You ain't... You know what I'm saying? Just because you may seem to have the name, somebody else that's that no name might put on a better performance because he know how to perform. Like, I feel like just music alone ain't cutting it no more because... Oh, that's people, a fact. You know, people got to do the videos and got to get a good visual behind it. A lot of times people shoot up here now and you got so much beef, you can't go nowhere. You can't do nothing. Niggas just shooting on their block or on the corner and can't do nothing. You know what I mean? Like, it got to be more, more for the city to, like, you know, take off. It got to be a lot more for this shit. And it ain't... Right now it's just, you know what I mean, stuck at that what we looking for stage, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And people not really realizing that. So Yeah, I agree. I agree. You know, I think so like right. I said, for me, if I'm looking at it, I'm looking for dope music, what you're saying, your performance, because performance is key too. I can't, just because you can rap good, you get out there and you put on a performance, you just like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You got good music, but nobody's really doing that because you ain't got no crowd control. You can't control anything that's going on. It's just regular ass music. And well, I agree with that. I agree with everything you're saying. I think the biggest the biggest part that you uh, of it that you didn't say is what we lack here the most is the understanding of business. Facts. There's no understanding of how business works here. Facts. It's like, and I mean, I don't want to go too deep into it because I don't want to start it to sound like a broken record, and I don't want people to start to feel bad, but like. We don't have an idea of how to operate in the industry here. And that's what I'm trying to bring up here. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, that's what I bring to the table. I'm trying to show people that, yeah, you can do it without having a major team behind you. Yeah, you can do all this. Like, a lot of people are not really looking at that. They feel like Minnesota make it feel like you got to network with these group of people. Like, not to bring up these names, but like John Ray, for instance. Mm-hmm. John Ray, one of the people, yeah, he got a big name up here, but... I ain't even gonna lie. Like, how many people you really networking with? Like, who's serious about doing it? Like, niggas like me or other people don't overtax the situation. It ain't like saying niggas ain't got the money. We can make the money. That's not a problem. I get booked every day for video shoots. That's not a problem about mm-hmm. the money. But it's about really trying to bring the city together. If I know you a talented artist, like same thing with Suavo. Believe it or not, man, bro got like ten songs already, and this is old shit. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather network with artists that's really serious about doing that shit. Cause I shoot the video with you. Everybody say this gonna be the song that's gonna take off. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody say that. Then none of them really go like how they go, how they plan. So now they back to, oh, it's the cameraman fault or it's the da 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 da. No, it's your own self promotion. You're not really pushing, pushing like you're supposed to. Yeah. It's halfway pushing. You know what I'm saying? Like people buying views all day. I've, I'm 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 even a a person for buying views for once upon a time. You know what I'm saying? I just look at it like make it make it look good. Yeah, but at the same time, really push that shit because niggas not really doing that. You know what I mean? Even with they little groups that niggas be in, like all these big names, and ain't nobody coming together to make something big. They beefing instead of coming together, and I don't I don't like that shit because it's like what we doing in the city. Well, if you're gonna beef, if you're gonna beef, at least use it to market what you're doing. And that ain't happening at all. That Nobody happened. that that's the other thing that I, I've been saying recently on this show is I feel like Minnesota is just kind of soft when it comes to like industry ideals. It's like we here at Live on Lake Street can't even create some like twist on a narrative without people being freaked the fuck out. It's like haven't you seen like that's what's happening right now? Yeah. You know what I mean? And like you think like you can't come sit down here for an interview. And have your words twisted up a little bit to bring attention to you and your interview. How are you going to handle the Breakfast Club? 
I mean, you know how people are. How are you going to handle, you know what I mean? Like, how are you going to get into the industry and deal with that shit? Because this is, that's peanuts. It's the honesty shit. You ever, you ever sat and asked an artist, they asked you, like, what you think about this? And you was like, it was all right. Now they mad at you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Little shit like that. You got to get over that hump. Like, I know I ain't the, the best rapper in the world right now, but I'm going to get there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And when people hear that, other rappers, they hear that shit, they assume, I'm the best rapper right now. They do yeah. all that shit. And it, that's what become the problem, yeah. you know, as the artist or as whatever you're trying to do. You know what I mean? God just think we're pussy. Nah, it's pussy. Nah. We're I pussy say here. Minnesota not pussy. Like I said, it's just the wrong people network with the wrong people. Like, like I said, if it was like that, how it's supposed to be. We got this platform right here, right? Yep. You know who artists that's really doing something. If you know these things, if yep. y'all scouting, really looking at artists on Facebook, we I got live on Lake on my fa- Facebook, all that. I'm networking with all these artists. Why wouldn't you put that person in a position to win? You get what I'm saying? It's the other artists that y'all put in a position to win who not still looking out for the people where they came from. They start going out talking about, well, I'm going to Atlanta, or I'm going to this place, and I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? It's Minnesota where you need to be looking at, because everybody say the same thing. You got to leave Minnesota to be something, right? That's that's the wrong narrative to keep throwing out there. Why would I throw that at you when we as a whole can really do something if everybody come together? Atlanta did it, New York did it, Cali did it. You got all these other places they do it. Hell, Chicago do it, and that's the beef in Central. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like you got to look at it. If niggas can come together, that's all niggas need. That's all people need. It ain't got to be all that bullshit that people keep spreading around. Like you know what I'm saying? Minnesota can come together. We can do it. It's just people weak minded when it comes to coming together because they don't want to be the one in the background. Before they up, you get what I'm saying. Little baby was in the background before he was up. And we all seen the videos, you know what I mean. So sometimes you gotta be that nigga in the background. And people don't want to take that route. And like, ain't nothing wrong with supporting who you support. But there is a hundred thousand other artists that that is willing if given the chance. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. like my thing is, how are these big time people gonna really offer the opportunity? But so before they say, I want y'all to reach out to me, whether then y'all reach out to them. You get what I'm saying? It got to be a vice versa type of scenario. It can't be that one direction. And that's why artists up here feel like that because they feel like nobody's reaching out to them. They just got to do all the reaching. Sometimes you do, but other times if you're really doing what you're doing, like these scouts, they need to be reaching out. All these people, I've performed at the Red Sea a million times, put on plenty of good shows, done one shit up in there, all type of shit. Has it gotten me where I want to go? No, because they're not putting you in the right type of door. They might say your music is this, but if it is, Push that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like like you would do, like I said, the John Ray when y'all up here, when I watch the shows. Y'all push that shit every time. Y'all pushing every other artist narrative, but the, you know what I'm saying, the original shit that niggas doing for the city. So if it's like that, y'all need, y'all should really bring that live on Lake Street cameras out and come fuck with people. Like if I'm shooting a video, I can pay y'all for it. If y'all, if I'm shooting a video, I'll come show y'all how we turn up at the videos, how we doing it professionally. Wait, so you you talk, I mean? you're like, talking specifically about live on Lake Street? No, I'm just saying this as a platform and just in general. This I was going to say, bro, we're over here, we're busting our I'm saying, ass over here. Yeah, you are. But I'm saying any platform, not just this one, this one, my platform, every platform. I'm really trying to look out for artists like as in the giving, giving back type of shit and Really so looking so out, when you, you know talk I mean? about like unity and coming together, like what does that look like to you? Like, give me, a, give, me a, like, give me, give me, an example. It looked like, like it's me giving back. Like say for instance, if I was a cameraman, I'm, I'm up here. I know cameraman up here charging twelve hundred, right? Now if I'm giving back, most people we know ain't got twelve hundred for a fucking video. Right. Most people we know. Right. So giving back is giving out those deals. Like I, this is a two hundred and fifty dollar deal, four hundred dollar deal. Now we ain't trying to say break your pocket to where you do. But that's all just that. you giving somebody a deal. How does that no, create unity? It's a unity because we know how how the hood is. You know how the hood is, right? It's a struggle. Not everybody got money like that especially in these dying times that we in right now right with all this shit going on it can't be that we overcharging our people you see what i'm saying like yeah we want them to pay our way but a lot of people who build they who build their foundation they want people to just to spend right away you see what i'm saying and you can't even get that way until you, you break it down like look when i first started shooting videos i went charging three four hundred out the gate even though i bought me a seven hundred dollar camera mm-hmm. i was shooting videos for free you know what i'm saying because i had to get somewhere when people selling drugs, bro, you got to get somewhere. You don't just start giving out that bag for free. You got to, right. I mean, not for free, but you know what I'm saying, for that for that, for that, that price, you got to, you know what I mean, hey, this is what it is. Let me spread the word around. That's unity. You know what I'm saying? Let me, hey, come fuck with us in a type of way where we giving back. Like, give back more. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of times, y'all ain't, not y'all, but most people ain't giving back in the right type of way to make where it makes sense to the people out here. Because like I said, this is what they telling me on that other end. A lot of people are not going to speak up about that. So that's a personal issue, you know what I'm saying, that people need to be speaking up about. Because in the city, if you look at the city, like I said, you got too many artists out here that just think they're the best. All right, come together. It's not happening. Nobody's giving back. Nobody's giving out that deal because everybody want to, all right, I'm this high at the level. If a person I am, I'm charging $2,000 for a verse. You get what I'm saying? When you're not really even there yet. We all trying to get there yet. And well, yeah, you just got to... Uh, I'm okay with anybody charging anything they want to, but yeah. but the problem is, is you got to... 
then you got to be able to show the return on it. My point. That's yeah. giving back. Yeah. yeah. That's giving back. So if I'm giving back. No, I'm back, saying like you if, you, if you're going to charge me $2,000 for a verse, then I need to be able to see how I'm going to recoup that $2,000. That's based the, on you, but that's giving the point me of me verse. saying, all right, think about this, right? You, if you charging two thousand, what's the point of me paying you two thousand, right? Exactly. If you, if you right. charging my, if you charge me four hundred, five hundred dollars for this interview, if I see, if I pay the money, what's the benefit of me paying the money then, right? Are are you going to help it get promoted to different outlook, yes. uh, out out platforms? Are you helping it get to places where it needs to go? That's really giving back. That's why I'm saying, if you breaking it down to where your money is really going, people have more of an understanding. Most of the time, when I'm people just said, oh, this is the price for this, they don't know what the fuck they spend their money on anyway, so they of just. Course. They spending it because it sound good. But I'm, that's what I mean by giving back. Because if I'm if you spend your money with me and I know you fuck with me like that, I'm giving you the best deals of the century. Especially because I know you coming back. You know what I mean? Because that's the only way you can build with people. Ain't nobody building a, a real connection with with nobody they work with out here. Well, I, any, I can tell you, I can only speak for for I can speak for this operation. I can't speak for everybody, but I can tell you that if I'm char- if we're charging you for an interview, mm-hmm. I think in people's minds they think, okay, well they get that money. And obviously the people that everybody knows that's involved. Some people still only think it's just me. Some people think it's just me over here, which is fucking crazy. But a lot of people's idea is, oh, they get that money. Chief takes half. Jake takes half. They fucking clank champagne bottles and then they celebrate. No, we buy cameras, equipment. We're upgrading our lighting all the time. This venue is not free. Like people think that we're just taking this money and pocketing it. I can tell you, he probably won't even be happy with me, happy with me saying this on the mic, but I'm gonna say it on the mic. I have made zero dollars doing the show. We've been doing this for a year. I have taken home nothing, zero. That's a fact. So anybody out there that thinks that like this is some kind of like, I'm just trying to profit, you're out of your fucking mind. And I've been, and on top of that, prior to live on Lake Street. I did the Wiseman show for almost seven years. Not only did I not make a single dollar doing that, but I, I'm out of pocket thousands. So I've been doing this for damn near a decade, talking into mics, giving people a platform for negative thousands of dollars. So anybody that thinks I'm out here just profiting is out of their mind. See, now that's different though, man. You got to be profiting out of that shit. No, I know that money, it takes, I know that it takes time. <laughs> Yeah, hell I know yeah. that it of takes course, time. But still, though, like, like I said, even with my shit, like I said, I didn't profit at all either for a little bit. But you got to eventually, yeah, I'm charging this. I, I'm charging that. I'm charging that. But I ain't never. My thing is this. I'm not going to overthrow where I'm at right now. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Until I know I'm at that type of level, then I can charge what I really want to charge. You know yeah. what I mean? Even though motherfuckers tell me, oh, you got a $7,000 camera. You could be charging $900. Okay, if I do that, then who's who's working with me? Facts. You get what I'm saying? Who's yeah. working with me then? Yep. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I feel like, yeah, I'm trying to give back. Because I know a lot of artists out here that don't got it like that, that's trying to get somewhere. It's just like if you look at uh Glow. You know what I'm saying? The Glow Girl, right? Glow Rilla, that yep. video was two fucking fifty. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? $250, yep. and she popping off that. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. It ain't always about that higher price tag. If you really giving back to the city and you mm-hmm. know what's going on, especially if they're trying to rock with you, I got a lot of people who rock with me. Just like you said, motherfuckers done came in here and spoke my name plenty of times. Mm-hmm. But it, I I'm hoping it's positive, you know what I'm saying, 100% of the time, but because that's my thing. It's a, when, I, when I shoot, I'm coming professional, yeah. and I come mainly by myself, so I'm hooking up the equipment, doing all this shit, go home, edit, all that shit. I really don't sleep. I do that shit all night, yeah. be done with the video next day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't waste no time. It'll have effects, whatever you want on it, as long as the the, the payment and whatever we talked about is correct. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But that's just how I work, and that's why I feel like I give back, and I'm trying to really do that. And what are they the pay- What are in your mind, what are the artists paying you for? You said what? What is the artist paying you for? And you're like, what for you me, you're paying. You're paying for the quality. Okay. You're paying obviously for my time. You're paying for the work. You're paying for you know the best quality you are gonna get in the city. You yep. know, one of the best. I ain't yep. gonna say the best right now because yep. like I said, I still got ways to go. Yep. Shout out to other cameramen out there. You know what I mean? This ain't no diss to y'all, but definitely, you know what I'm saying. Even though I know motherfuckers was running around saying, "Don't fuck with me," shit like that. You know, but still, I'm still out here, man. Mm-hmm. If y'all want to work, tap in. Y'all know what's going on. Okay, I'm glad you said that. Yeah, because all the things you just said. Exactly what you're paying for here. Exactly. Same exact thing is what is what you're paying for here. You're gonna get quality. You're gonna get the best interviewer in the whole fucking state. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, I said it. And you're gonna get my time. You're gonna get Chief's time. And anybody else that we got on the clock working social media, you're getting that too. Say that thing. So that's what you're paying for. This so anybody out there, anybody out there that's confused about why we charge, that's why. In fact, this is what they want to hear. Shit like that. You know what I mean? Like we're running other, we're running a business. Other than that, you know, like motherfuckers, like just like you said, motherfuckers gotta understand it's a business with this shit. It ain't yeah. no just average shit. Like motherfuckers got a lot of shit to do with bills involved, you know yeah. what I mean? And when you trying to make when you trying to make these bills, this should be a motherfucker. You already know yeah. how that go. Yeah. But yeah. And I'm okay with not 
personal personally profiting. At some nah, point, nah. I'm gonna not be okay with that. Nah, you, you ain't okay now. Nah, I ain't okay with as that. As of right Here now, you say that I wasn't okay hearing that. I'm telling you, as of right now, knowing it's it's coming. That's coming. That time is coming. I've put I've put in my ten thousand hours. Facts. The time's coming. I'm not even worried about it. It's gonna happen. And I took a break. So I mean, I set myself back a little bit, but we're here now. It's all right. So, anyways. I don't, that might get that could get edited out of the episode. I don't know. I have no idea. Good, yeah, once this yeah. shit's done, once this shit's on the chopping block, it's out of my hands. Facts, I don't know. Facts. But so, what made you step outside of the realms of making music, being an artist, into visual art, shooting artists? Um, I just got kind of tired of my videos coming back shitty. You know mm. what I mean? So, like from other cameramen I work with up here, not all of them, just the ones that I did pay for that took longer than average. Like who? Uh, <laughs> like one of these times you're gonna answer me. No, nah, look, I ain't got no problem really with answering. I just, you know what I mean? I ain't trying to stir a bunch of bullshit. But even if it was, I don't get no fuck. You know what I'm saying? Uh, nevertheless, like, it's just a few different cameramen I work with for sure. Uh, I seen a video, you know, that I had uh, before. It was just terrible. You know what I mean? And I was just like, yeah. I, when I first picked up the camera, though, it was it was shitty, too, because I ain't understand shit about aperture setting and all that shit. So, yeah, that shit took a lot of time to yeah. understand and, like, you know what I mean, to get the hold of. And uh, try to bring water. He low-key, like, helped me with a lot of that shit, you know what I mean? So when I first got my camera, I've had Canon cameras for the longest. That's so. a name that don't get brought up enough. Oh, yeah, Brainwater. Yeah. But I ain't gonna lie, he one of them that I told was like, the video was bogus too. But that's my that's my boy though, Like so I can say that, you know what I mean? You, like, know, why they don't fuck, you know why they don't say his name? Why? Because he shoots for 50. Yeah, but no, nah, he cold though. He got He's that, cold. He got that black cinema camera. Yeah. Y'all niggas need yeah. to fuck with that boy. Nah, Brainwater's he, nice. He, yeah, Brainwater, that's my boy. So like, like real shit, he taught me a lot about you know, how to fix your camera and really get the focus and shit. And within two years, I've already shot like 700 videos. You know what I mean? So, you know, for me, that's a lot of work. Because like I said, I was really, I had motherfuckers calling me literally three, four videos a day. Yeah. You know, and I, I was so dumb at one point in time. Like, I, everything was just happening. So I'm just doing all these running gun videos, just tiring myself out. I did that shit whole summer last year. I did probably like 100 videos in the summer. You know what I mean? So, yeah, see, the thing about being a videographer too is, and this is something that I understand because, I, you know, I used to shoot my own mm-hmm. podcast. And, and edit. You can do the whole shoot. That ain't half the work. Right, no. The work, the work comes after yeah. you're done. So, like, you can go run yeah. through and get 10 videos done and be like, yeah. And then facts. you're like, wait, I got to edit all the Facts, facts. And that's the thing, too. Like I said, that's why, just like you said, like, for me, it's it's just me. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know you got a business with, with a team of people. I, it's literally, like, my artists, they just artists. They, they rap. You know what I mean? I do, I'm shooting their videos, yeah. editing, all that shit. You know what I mean? And I just really, like, really learn how to work my camera really, really well. So, you know what I mean? Now it's, like, a whole other type of ball game. I just, like I said, I just bought that, uh, that, uh, Canon R6, that's a really good camera. It was yeah. like seven thousand dollars, but that motherfucker really good though. Yeah, twelve hundred dollar lenses, you know what I mean? Shit, really expensive. I could have kept that in my pocket, but I'm like, nah. I'd rather do that because this one give me something other to do just than rap. You know what I mean? I like helping out. I like actually showing people my work with that shit. A lot of people when I shoot like shoot their videos, especially first time people, they love that shit. Motherfuckers go crazy. They be like, hey bro, this this shit raw with sales. So yeah. you know, I like what I do for sure. Top five rappers in Minnesota right now. Top five. I'm number one. Um, Soda Shine, that's my that's my boy. I'm gonna have to say number two. I rap with him all the time. I don't know if you know who that is, but that's my boy. I've seen the name, heard the name. Don't yeah. know if I've heard them their music, but yeah, Soda Shine, he he go crazy. Um, in Minnesota, I mean, it's a lot of other rappers up here. I mean, Suavo, that's my boy. He go crazy. He be three. Uh, who else? Who else was up? It was somebody else that was on your show that I seen. Um, Carson Blue, she go crazy. I mm-hmm. fuck with Carson Blue. Um. One more. Shit, it's a toughie for this last one because it's a lot. Uh, shit, I go with my nigga OBZ, man. Okay. OBZ, you know who that is? I do. Yeah, OBZ, yeah. that's my boy. He go crazy. Me and him, we just did a couple songs together, too. Okay. So, yeah. Top five videographers in Minnesota? Um, Shit. Nah, you can put me on the spot for that one. Um, I'm number one for sure. Ain't nobody fucking with me. How could that be? Earlier you said you got a lot of work to do. I know. I do got a lot of work to do, but I, ain't, I still I'm put myself number one all the time. <laughs> all right. Number one. All right. You hear me? Fair enough. If anybody say I ain't, show me show me your plethora of videos, and I'll show you what I did to beat yours in two years. But, yeah, definitely. Um, I'm number one. Number two, Minnesota Code. Mm-hmm. I say um, Dog Food Media. Mm-hmm. He dope. Yep. Um, high Def, he dope, too. For He's sure. got a real high price range. You know, I think he should lower it down because he overrated to me a little bit, but he dope too. Um, Damn, high def's overrated. Yeah, he overrated, man. Like he, I, I feel like he treat he treat Minnesota artists a little bogus, like the way he talk. Like I feel like you, yeah, j- yeah, you shot videos for the Chicago niggas, but. 
do something big for us up here. Like it's it's to talk too much about that shit. Don't nobody care about that shit up here. Like every time you talk, you I see him on like I say everybody friends with me on my Facebook. I see that shit. I be wanting to say something, but I be like, he just make himself seem like a fucking fool. You know what I mean? So whatever, man. High def, you cool. Like you a good cameraman, but you gotta, you know what I mean? But other than that, uh. Shit, uh, who else is another cameraman out here? AO Productions. AO. I give it AO Productions for sure. for sure. He dope. That's that's one of another my boys for sure. Yeah. For and sure. shout out, shout out JR Six too, man. Here upcoming camera guy out here too, man. Younger? Shout out JR Six, yeah. Okay. DMBE. I don't know if y'all heard of him, but I don't think I have. No. Yeah, he 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 upcoming doing some shit. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So what else are you working on? What do you what, as far as music? What do you got? You got some. We got coming? this verses going on this uh, uh Friday, uh with uh I versus uh, battling uh, Chuck Chuck Blaze. I don't know if you know who that is, yeah, but I'm He was on the show, too? Yeah, that's my boy, too. I grew up with him a long time ago. We we kind of grew up since, like, 14 and shit like that. Okay. So, yeah, that's my boy, but, yeah, we finna battle Friday. Is it a battle, or yeah, is it, like, a it's versus, versus battle? versus battle, whatever the fuck it is. Versus a battle, which mm-hmm. is same like a battle to me. Either one, we yeah. got to... Play each other music, you know what I'm saying? But this 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 is a different type of versus uh AK doing it. He like doing some type of Got you. versus thing with that. So like yeah, that's gonna be a little decent. But yeah, I'm gonna fuck bro at, up on it. At Red Sea? Yeah, it's gonna be at the Red Sea, yeah. Okay. Yep, this okay. Friday. And what about releases? You got anything uh, coming? Releases right now, I ain't really been working on releases because I've been shooting videos like crazy, but yeah. I got a whole bunch of like new music coming out, uh some shit with E B Marie. Uh, shout her out. Got some shit with Free God Savvy. I've been hearing E.B. Marie a lot lately. Yeah, she's been going crazy. I got her, uh, me and her just did a song together. We got a raw ass video we finna get ready to drop. It's gonna be like in a little warehouse setting, but it's gonna be dope as hell. She got some models coming through, all that type of shit. Okay. Yeah, so uh, E.B. Marie for sure. Uh, me and my cousin, like I said, Soda Shine, I got some shit with him. Uh, me and Swabo got a bunch of shit. Me and OBZ got a bunch of shit. Uh, I just got right now just a bunch of singles, really, if I'm dropping anything. Everything else, just videos for everybody else. For sure. Okay. For sure. Final part of the episode. Give them some game segment. Look in this camera and give these people a little bit of game. Look, yeah. man, stop fucking with all these no good ass promoters and shit, man. And do y'all shit. Come fuck with the team if y'all need some help pushing y'all music. And shit, y'all know what's going on. That's it. That's it. Where can they like. where can they find you at? Shit, y'all can find me everywhere, man. Both sides of the fence. That's both sides. S I D E Z. Find me everywhere on all platforms. Y'all can go on YouTube, check the videos out, and yeah, tap in. Sure. I appreciate your time, man. Appreciate it's you. It's a good bro. conversation. We got some things on the table. Yes, sir. Let's get it. All right. Another episode of the Minnesota's number one daily show live on Lake Street. I'm Jake Faircloth. Follow me everywhere at Jake Faircloth1. Damn, water. In high school, I let it bam, water. I wasn't playing, water. I'm coming straight out the south. Hey, genius, best watch your mouth. When I pull up on PNB right then, and he come out. You moving ounces. I just moved a hundred things in a drought. You want the south side, outside the fence of your house. You talking all that, then then wanna come talk it out. If you ain't talking money, f- you talking about. I give some f- what you do. I'm about mine. I just look at the watch. Said it's about time. She in love with my status. Said if you don't mind what I do to chief up, I said the south. south.